So last time around, I talked about the A350's paint problems and mentioned how Airbus says there's no safety concern, and I concurred. Well, the other day, the European regulator said that the A350 may not actually be safe. But the issue the regulators are talking about this time has little to do with the paint now. Instead, the concern has moved on to the layer underneath, the mesh material, known as expanded copper foil, or ECF. Since I mentioned the ECF in the previous vid, I feel a little bit obligated to talk about it. I actually planned to go over it last time, but the draft was getting long and statistics have shown that it's going to exceed everybody's attention span. But this time, the ECF layer is relevant. Very. So let's jump in. What's the problem now? So European regulators have found 13 A350s with incorrectly installed ECFs. This time, it might be a safety concern. Why? To understand why the ECF layer is important, we must know the basic design philosophy of the A350. In order to compete with other modern airliners, the A350 was designed to use the newest generation of lightweight materials, carbon fiber reinforced polymer, or CFRP. They're light and strong, and is therefore a great material to build planes out of. Just one problem or quite a few actually, but one of many problems with CFRP is that they're very bad at conducting electricity. If you decide to charge your phone, Tesla, or Tesla out of the material, not only will it not work, you'll probably set your house on fire. This is a problem if someone wants to use the material to build airplanes, not because they can't be used to charge your Tesla, but because once in a while they will encounter lightning. Flying so high in the sky is only a matter of time before every plane gets struck by lightning. When that happens, the electric charge will travel through the plane before exiting back out. Now, that's not a problem when planes are made of highly conductive materials, like traditional aluminum. The lightning will just travel through the body of the plane without damaging critical parts and people inside. But if the plane is made completely of CFRP, the energy will not travel through the material safely. If you're lucky, it will just burn a hole, and if you're not, then you'll have the privilege of ending up in one. But that is dumb, so engineers of the A350 added a layer of conductive material to allow the electric charge from a lightning strike to pass through the plane without damaging critical parts made of CFRP or setting the plane on fire, whichever is worse. This is the job of the ECF. They're wrapped around critical parts of the plane, including, of course, the fuel tanks. It is in these locations where regulators discovered that some ECF layers were not correctly installed. They also mentioned that if the defects were combined with other possibilities, like an incorrectly installed fastener and an unfortunately placed lightning strike, the fuel tanks can be ignited. If you want to know what the result would look like, look no further than TWA Flight 800. A fuel tank explosion from a small short circuit brought down the 747 back in 1996, taking away 230 lives with it. It's not hard to imagine what a lightning strike can do if it gets channeled into a fuel tank. Fortunately for the A350, the European regulators found out about this, possibly from all the paint problems. Unfortunately, this might be a massive headache for Airbus and all the airlines involved. They'll need to first find all the A350s with this problem, figure out how to fix them, and deal with compensation terms and a whole bunch of other legal issues. And that's before mentioning the impact of bad press, something I'm sure rival Boeing would be happy to brief them about. We'll see what happens next, and hopefully they'll fix these problems before something worse happens. But until next time, thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe for the algorithm.